Now that Cody and Aria have won the rainbow, what's next? Actually, to be fair, Cody doesn't have much of a choice who will face. Oh my god, Edge is back! Elimination Chamber will be huge. Okay, this is the first Raw after Royal Rumble 2023 and what an exciting time to be alive. I don't know why I said that, it's just another Raw. Cody and Rhea came out and they have made uh, good promos uh, about their respective opponents and their dreams and what they want to do. Cody Rhodes will face Roman. We all knew that. We even speculated that he's gonna be the person who's gonna dethrone Roman. Rhea on the other side came out and she said she's gonna face Charlotte which is like Three years in the oven storyline. Oh my god, I cannot wait. When Cody was out, Judgment Day came out, and it was a little bit of Rhodes versus Mysterios there. And I was expecting to see that on the main event. But on the main event, we saw Finn Balor versus Cody Rhodes, which was also awesome. Also, Edge is back and he kicked the butt of Judgment Day. I'm a little bit upset that we haven't seen Edge talking about the Judgment Day. I'm a little bit upset that Edge is still playing with the Judgment Day, but I like the fact that Edge and Beth are back, which probably will lead to Rhea teaming up with somebody against Edge and Beth, which is gonna be a fun little match and a final match of the chapter, hopefully, and we're gonna move forward. Elimination Chamber, we're two weeks away from Elimination Chamber or something like that. Basically, on this week's row, we set up half of the Elimination Chamber. In the men's Elimination Chamber will be Austin Theory, Seth Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed. What can I say about the matches for Elimination Chamber, except that they were good. Seth and Chad Gable was a bang. Gargano versus Corbin. Their heights, my top moment from Raw. I'm a fan of Dexter Loomis. What can I say? He has to do a little bit more of a development for his character, but I think he will be great. I, I can even see him uh, teaming with Bray Wyatt or being against Bray Wyatt and the last Bronson Reed versus Dolph Ziggler to be fair I didn't pay attention to that match, but I'm really excited to see Dolph Ziggler and Mustafa Ali storyline what will happen there because basically before the Dolph Ziggler match Mustafa Ali came to Dolph Ziggler backstage and was like Oh my god, Dolph Ziggler receives another opportunity Dolph Ziggler was annoyed AF and I'm just curious what's gonna happen there On the previous row we got ripped off the Bailey versus Becky match that was in the steel cage so that's why next week we're gonna run it back. And I really like the Becky's attitude now. She's more aggressive. She took out the whole damage control in order to get to Bailey. I really enjoyed that. There are a couple more things that I want to talk about, which are a little bit questionable for me. First of all, Candice LeRae versus Io Sky. The reasoning for that match apparently was because Io Sky kicked Candice out of the Rumble. Why Mi Chin was there then? I. I seriously don't understand. Candice LeRae is only losing since she's on the main roster and to be fair I'm not really excited to see Candice LeRae from week to week except to hear her theme music. I was thinking what if Candice LeRae turns heel? Maybe that will be more exciting because at the end of the day she's the poison pixie and that character is more fitting to be a heel. Just giving ideas. Another thing that was a little bit cringe the MVP lounge. I really like Austin Theory. I really see a lot of potential in him. Maybe he's gonna be the next big thing in the WWE. He's not quite there yet and you can see that on the MVP lounge. I was always watching Austin Theory's promos because the promos are one of the best things in my opinion in wrestling. The thing that can make you feel the thing that can make you move and stuff like that but I'm watching Austin Theory for a while and now I'm seeing his promo game is not there yet he's speaking a little bit slowish probably because he doesn't want to mess up the lines or something like that but on the MVP lounge was kind of yeah I don't know how to say it otherwise because you can obviously see a great speaker in MVP and you can see Austin Theory and it was it was meh for example there is a rumor that Austin Theory versus John Cena will happen at some point and I 
kinda don't want to see that happening because Cena will destroy Theory. Just gonna humiliate Theory. In general, a good show. It receives an air conditioner out of 10. I, I cannot say anything else. Yeah, I'm more excited about the SmackDown because so we're gonna see what is going on in the bloodline. What? What is, go what is going on in the bloodline? Why am I talking about the bloodline on Raw? Stop asking me weird things and click this video. Fast. The time is ticking. My my hand is... Oh no. Uh, no, the last video. Oh, 